Swiss rows for this exercise, guys. So you can see that we've got our feet at shoulder width, knees are slightly bent, and we've got a nice heavy base. Now you want to make sure you row with both hands going towards one hip, or in fact one waistline, and then alternating to the other side. Now, what I want you guys to do is use your shoulders to twist and amplify the exercise. Let's get you to have a go. Sprinkler for this exercise, guys. So your arms should remain soft straight during this exercise and your fists are pretty much together so they don't actually leave each other at all during the exercise. You want to make sure your feet are at shoulder width and you're drawing a semicircle around you with soft straight arms. You can see we're working this quite horizontally so it's actually at shoulder height. Make sure you guys do the same. Your turn. Working some obliques tilt for this exercise, guys. So you can see your hand is behind your head and you're tilting away from the anchor point. Now, I want you guys to make sure you're not bending your knees because we want to keep the knees straight so you're isolating your obliques throughout the bending movement. Let's get you to have a go at this one. Okay, I want you to turn around now and work the other side. 
Let's go. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises. Okay, I want you to turn around now and work the other side. Let's go.
working a Pilates hundred for this exercise, guys. So hands are moving either straight up and down, or you can have them circular motion. Whichever one you prefer is fine. Now your elbows remain soft, straight, and both legs and head remains lifted throughout the exercise. You can see that there's no bend in my knees, and I'm pointing my toes right out. Your turn. Pull over into a hips raise for this one, guys. So you can see Sabina's doing simultaneous movement. So as she's pulling over, she's lifting her hips up into a bridge. You want to make sure your arms are soft, straight throughout the exercise. Your turn. Working some rollovers for this exercise, guys. So you want to make sure you hold on to your RBX cables nice and tight for support. And we're going to roll over with straight legs. So you guys can see that Sabina is doing this one perfectly. Your toes should be pointing out because that's going to give you the best results and it's going to give you a good hamstring stretch along the way as well. Your turn. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises.
let's everybody repeat the last three exercises. Infinity for this exercise, guys. So basically, this is performed by drawing two circles next to each other. We want to keep the circles fairly large and you want to make sure that you've got soft, straight legs with your toes pointing throughout the whole exercise. Let's get you to have a go at this one.
alternate leg presses for this one, guys. Now, what I want you to do with this one is just pick up the speed a little bit and let's elevate the heart rate throughout this one. You want to make sure your toes are pointing up and we want maximum range of motion. Your turn. Pike crunch for this exercise, guys. You can see Sabina is working her pike and her crunch all at the same time. And we're ensuring we're holding straight legs and straight arms throughout the movement. Meet in the middle, so don't let one side do more work than the other. You want to try and keep it nice and even. Your turn. Let's everybody repeat the last three exercises.
And this segment of the program is all about high intensity 30 second intervals. We'll pick up two exercises and train three lots of 30 seconds, alternating between exercises for a total of three minutes per set. Let's get straight into it. Nice abs combination for this exercise, you guys. We're going to start off working some traditional abs crunches. Now, you can see that I've got my hands behind my neck for support, but that just means that you've got to make sure you point your elbows right out and you look straight up so that you're not yanking at your neck. And then what we're going to do is we're going to change it up. We're going to turn around into that prone position and just work a nice traditional plank. So again, making sure that you're keeping a straight line from your ankle all the way to your shoulders and there's no arching or dipping of the spine. Your turn to try this one. For this exercise, let's work some side planks with a supine abs plank. So we're going to start off facing the left, going into that side plank. Now you can have your feet stacked together or you can have your top foot in front of your bottom foot and just making sure that we're keeping that straight line as far as the torso is concerned from your shoulder all the way to your ankle. And then what we'll do is we'll turn around, we're going to hit the right side as well before we work our way into that supine position and go into that supine abs plank. So you want to make sure when you're doing that, you've got your head and shoulder blades lifted, arms are nice and straight in a vertical line so that you're emphasizing those upper abs. And then we're going to lift our legs right up, keep those knees nice and straight and toes pointy so that you're working your lower abs as well. <laughs> Thank you. 
for this combination, we're going to combine some X crunches with some bicycle kicks. So working those X crunches first, what we want to do is we want to reach with our opposite hand to opposite knee and really try and get your palm all the way to your knee so that you're getting a good contraction of those abs. And then we're going to change it up and we're going to go into some bicycle kicks. So very important to keep your shoulder blades nice and high for this one. Keep your head up, extend your legs all the way out and retract them to your chest alternately. Your turn to try this one for yourself. for getting through your workout today guys let's take a moment to stretch and cool our body back down now lying on your belly place your forearms on the mat just beneath your shoulders press your upper body away from the floor and lift your chest up to extend your spine keeping the back of your neck long draw your shoulders down away from your ears pull your belly button in to your spine and you should feel a stretch in your abdominals hold for three to five deep breaths To progress into a deeper stretch, bring your hands back to where your elbows were placed. Press your upper body up all the way, whilst keeping your pelvis still connected to the ground. Remember to engage your abdominals so that you don't feel too much pressure in your lower back. Hold for three to five deep breaths. Thank you.
Start in four point kneeling, sit your weight back onto your heels as far as you can, resting your belly on your thighs. Extend your arms out in front of you in line with your shoulders and rest your forehead on the floor. You'll feel the stretch in your shoulders and back, as well as your hips and glutes, depending on where you're tight. Gently press your chest and shoulders toward the ground to deepen the stretch. Hold for at least 30 seconds. Start in a high kneeling position. Take a big step forward with your right leg. Shift your weight forward until your right knee is directly over your ankle joint. Draw your abs to tuck your pelvis and feel the stretch in the right front side of your pelvis. Hold for 30 seconds. Now let's repeat the psoas and hip flexor stretch on the other leg. Start in four-point kneeling. Bring your knees further apart from each other until you can't go anymore. Ensure your shins are parallel to each other. To deepen the stretch, bring yourself down onto your forearms. This is quite an intense stretch, so remember to keep breathing. Hold for 30 seconds. <laughs> 